Hi everyone, it's Biden here from Black Ops Toys, and today we are going to unbox one of the Heavy Infantry Mandalorians from Hot Toys. Very, very nice figure, and these just hit wait list. So these probably will, will not see these for a while. You have your awesome box art, and you have the figure. This guy's name is Paz Vizsla, and he was voiced by Jon Favreau, who is the creator of the Mandalorian. Set this aside, and we'll get into the figure first. Paz Vizsla is from House Vizsla. For those of you who have seen the Clone Wars, it's pre Vizsla's house or Tar Vizsla's house, the first creator of the Darksaber. And if you didn't know, Pre Vizsla is actually also voiced by Jon Favreau. It was one of the first times him and Dave Filoni actually got to work together. So we'll get into the figure review. Start from top to bottom, then we'll do articulation. So we have our helmet, which has the amazing paint apps of the weathered Beskar all over it. Don't believe that piece moves. Full articulation. Can bend it up about that far. Bend it forward about that far. You have the nice same paint apps of this weathering on the edges all across the armor. His arms go about, about that high. Not the most articulation, but you can bend them this way. Just be careful when you're bending these shoulders to bend from the shoulder and not from the arm. You reduce the chance of breaking that shoulder. And when you bend them up that way, I'll show you, you want to shift the fabric so it doesn't rip. You can see his arm, kind of limited articulation. This is a bigger uh, base body underneath. Moving along to the arms, you have two different style gauntlets. You have your more a red-brown gauntlet, and then the yellow gauntlet with the flamethrower on that side. If you look closely here, you can see that fire effects that Hot Toys has been adding on their death troopers and their flamethrowers and things. Very cool effect. And you have the hose that goes up into his arm. It just pulls out like that. It gets tucked right under the oversuit. He has a little midriff in the back. And you have your belt. Belt separates right here to take that off. You have all the pouches and doodads. Really nice molding all across here. And if you can see, there's an undersuit right here. This white undersuit. And then you have this black oversuit. You can see the same thing down here. Moving down to the legs, you have the two different styles of knee pads. This one has the little fin on the side, this one does not. And you have the yellow and the blue there. And the same Beskar weathering paint apps you see on all the Mandalorians. But they've got very, very good at doing this. And you can see where they, they washed it here, all that nice grunge and grime on the insides of the shadows. It's very, very nice. You can get the armor off, off of here. It is very hard, so you want to be careful that you don't break it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it is uh, hook and looped onto onto this chest piece, kind of like the Deluxe Mando. He has the hook and loop, and you can separate here. You see, right there is your separation point to take off the bodysuit. It's a larger body. I'm not sure if it actually has a fat suit. I'm pretty sure it is just the larger body. And that's it for the main figure. So now we'll get into the accessories. Stand this guy up. You have your figure stand, and you have a flight post, because he has a jetpack, which is nice. And it is nice to finally see a stand that doesn't have the two foot imprints on it. So you can actually stand him wherever you want on the stand. And then you have 
his big heavy gun, and his jetpack. We'll get into the jetpack here. I believe that is probably... That hangs right there. You see those two little holes go right here, and then that has a little lip on it. You can hang the jetpack right there. Very big, beefy jetpack, and it's very unique. As you can see, you still have the same flame effects down here on the sides, which is very, very cool. And for the gun, this is bendable and posable. So it comes out from the back, and this hooks up, I believe, right here to that middle of the jetpack. And then he would hold his minigun, like you've seen in the show. So he would hold that, and that would wrap around. And this is very posable, and it is, it will stay in that position, which is very nice. Very, very, very nice, nicely detailed weapon. Now we'll move on to the small bits. So you have your flame effects for the jetpack, which I'll put those in there for you. Lay him down. These just slot right in there. Similar fire effects to the others, like the Deluxe Mando and the Troopers that have jetpacks. It's a very cool effect. And then you can have him on the flight stand flying with the machine gun. You have your little wrist pegs replacement wrist pegs. You have your handset. So these are the swappable right hands you see. They have the brown hand plate. And then you have... Ooh. I'm going to take these off and set that down so that doesn't break. And then you have your right hands. So you have your trigger hand, flat hand, your grip hand, and your closed fist. And they have the nice bloody detail on that blue. And then last but not least, you have his vibro blade, which is a very cool looking blade. And that would fit right in his grip hand, like that. Ultimately a very cool figure. Like I said, this just hit wait list, so probably won't be seeing another rerun of these guys. They're going to see them just hike up and up and up and up in price. So you probably, if you're going to want to pick this guy up, you want to pick him up now. Um, we're unlikely to see him because he died, as far as we know, in the first season. So we probably won't see another version of him. Um, but he's a, a very good piece. He's a nice heavy infantry Mandalorian. He's a good piece to have in your Mando collection. If you like this video, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. You can like this video down below, and you can subscribe to the channel to see more awesome content like this guy.